Hi guys. Today is a continuation of Lesson 6-5 where we're still doing reflections. Yesterday we, our axes of symmetry were either the x-axis or the y-axis, but those are not the only possible axes of symmetry. Um, we can also have vertical lines, horizontal lines, and diagonal lines be axes of symmetry. Okay, so let's say I have y equaling a number. For example, what if y equaled 3? Okay, well, I've come up with a little helper, kind of um, mnemonic device to help you remember what y equaling a number means. And it's the word hazy. All the letters in hazy, except for A, stand for something. So y is y equaling a number. H helps you remember that it's a horizontal line. Okay. So y equals 3, I'll go to the y-axis, I'll go to the 3 on the y-axis, and I'll draw a horizontal line through it. Because those are all the points that represent when y is 3. Okay, the z stands for zero slope. And like I said, a doesn't really stand for anything. We just put an a in there to make it a word. Okay, so hazy should help you remember that when y equals a number, it makes a horizontal line with zero slope. Okay, vixen, when I have x equaling a number, uh, vixen, again, it's not, <laughs> it's a reindeer. It has nothing to do with math per se, but I use some of the letters in the word vixen to help you remember that if I say x equals negative 2, then v in vixen helps me to remember that it will be a vertical line and no slope. I know that sounds like zero slope and that sounds like the same thing, but it's not, okay? So when x equals a number, I go to the x-axis, negative 2, and draw a vertical line through it. Y equals X is a diagonal line, but it isn't just any diagonal line. It is a diagonal line that runs at a 45 degree angle. You're going up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. Or you could think of it as I'm starting at the origin and I'm drawing a line corner to corner to corner till I get to the edge of the graph. Okay, and many of you learned today that just because you don't start to draw this faster, you don't start at the corner of the coordinate plane and connect it to the other corner unless it's a square. If it's a rectangle shape, that will not work. You start at the origin, go in one direction, perfectly diagonal, and go in the other direction, corner to corner to corner. Okay, and y equals negative x would be just a downhill version of the same line. Starting at the origin, corner to corner to corner to corner to corner to corner to corner. Keep connecting each corner. And that is y equals negative x. All right, well, let's graph reflecting over something like this. So if I am reflecting over the line x equals 1, okay, x equals, oh, let's see, hazy or vixen. Oh, vixen has an x in it. It also has the v in it. That helps me remember vertical. So I'm going to go to negative 1 and drop a vertical line on the x-axis through it. Okay, now... Yesterday we counted toward an axis. We counted either toward the x-axis or the y-axis. Today, the axes are just a line like any of the rest of these lines. They don't, they're not special, okay? And I'm gonna blow this up a little bit so that you can have a closer view of how I do these. Okay. All right, so in my mind, when I am 
doing this kind of reflection. It's not really that different from yesterday. It's just the where I start and stop counting is different. So here's A. Anything I'm doing in light gray is stuff that I'm usually doing in my head or doing with my pencil point, but I don't actually usually write down. Okay, you're free to write these down if you want, um, if it helps you. So usually I am in my mind taking my pen and hopping from here to here, and that is one, two hops. I stop at the red line. That is my axis of symmetry. Okay, I am ignoring the axis. It has nothing, nothing to do with it. Okay. Then I'm going to start here. If it's two squares away on this side of the red line, it is two squares, two, one, on the other side. I am treating that axis like any other line. It's not special anymore. A prime. All right, C, one hop, two hops, three hops, took four hops to get to that red line. So I'm going to take, start right on the red line, four hops, three hops, two hops, and one. I'm just counting backwards. Okay, and that's my C prime. B, one, two, three, four, five to the red line, then five, four, three, two, one, dot and label. Then, now if you do this on your homework, I absolutely am fine with it. Do it in pencil and erase it because those marks can be kind of distracting. So do it lightly in pencil and then erase them when you're done. Okay, uh, moving on to the next one. The next one says reflect triangle ABC over the line Y equals 2. So which word hazy or vixen, which one has a Y in it? Uh, hazy does. And the H in hazy reminds me, oh yeah, horizontal. So I'll go to the Y axis, positive 2, and I'll draw a horizontal line. Okay. Same technique as before. Let me blow this up. Oh, I can't blow it up quite that big. Yeah, that's not going to cut it either. No, we're going to have to leave it the way it is. Okay. All right. So. Again, I'm going to count in gray. I'm going to go a little fast this time. One, two, three. Three, two, one. A prime. C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that was C prime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I think a few of you in class find it boring to count out each individual shape one square at a time. So you just kind of guesstimate where you think the dots are going to be. And that's not going to be acceptable. You need to physically take the time to count out each one. And like I said, if you draw these marks, that's good. It shows you're counting. But they clog up your drawing and make it look busy. So I'd appreciate it if you erased them. 
All right, reflecting over the line y equals x, that's that diagonal line. Okay, um, diagonal lines, instead of counting up or down, you guessed it, we're going to count diagonally. So let's say I'm on A. I'm not going to count up, I'm not going to count down, I'm not going to count to the sides. This is a diagonal line, I'm going to count diagonally against it. So it's one corner to corner square to get from A to my axis of symmetry. So I'm going to go one more corner to corner square to get A prime. For B, corner to corner, that's one, corner to corner, two, and I hit the line. So I'm going to go corner to corner, two, corner to corner, one. Just count backwards. B prime. C corner to corner to corner to corner. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Oh dear, a half a square. Well, luckily, its other half is just on the other side of the line. So there's the half. Three, two, one. C prime. Connect connect, connect. And again, these lines that I've drawn in gray, these are things that you should erase when you are done. They're kind of distracting. Okay, so it's diagonal from line to line. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.